The timeless Greek myth of Orpheus and Eurydice captivates us with its exploration of devotion, bereavement, and the transformative power of melody. This poignant tale has left an indelible mark on art and culture, resonating through the ages with its universal themes. At the heart of this legend lies the extraordinary bond between Orpheus and Eurydice. Orpheus, a musician of unparalleled skill, could charm all of creation with his harmonies. His lyre's enchanting tunes moved not only humans but also deities, beasts, and even inanimate objects. It was this remarkable talent that first drew the attention of Eurydice, a nymph of breathtaking beauty. Their connection was instant and profound, a union of artistic brilliance and natural grace that seemed blessed by the immortals themselves. As their affection blossomed, it became clear that Orpheus and Eurydice's relationship was something truly special, even by the standards of Hellenic lore. Their story would come to exemplify how love could inspire individuals to transcend their mortal limitations, setting the stage for a narrative that would challenge the very boundaries between life and the afterlife. The nuptials of Orpheus and Eurydice were a joyous affair celebrated by divine beings and mortals alike. The compositions of Orpheus filled the air, his songs more beautiful than ever, as he performed for his beloved bride. However, the fates had other plans for the newlyweds, and their happiness was to be fleeting. As Eurydice danced in a sunlit meadow, reveling in the afterglow of her wedding day, calamity struck. A venomous serpent, hidden in the lush grass, bit her heel. The toxin acted swiftly, and Eurydice fell lifeless to the ground. In an instant, the world of Orpheus crumbled. His artistry, once a source of elation and wonder, fell silent as sorrow overwhelmed him. This sudden reversal of fortune, known as peripetia, is a hallmark of Grecian tragedy. It serves to remind us of the fragility of human contentment and the capricious nature of destiny. For Orpheus, it marked the beginning of a quest that would test the limits of his devotion and his craft. Refusing to accept the demise of Eurydice, Orpheus made the audacious decision to venture into the netherworld to reclaim her. It was a mission that no mortal had ever attempted, but Orpheus was no ordinary man. Armed with only his instrument and his unwavering affection, he set out to challenge mortality itself. As he descended into the domain of Hades, Orpheus's musical prowess proved to be his most potent ally. His compositions charmed Charon, the ferryman of the deceased, who allowed him passage across the river Styx without payment. Even Cerberus, the fearsome three-headed guard dog of the underworld, was lulled to sleep by Orpheus's strings. The shades of the departed were drawn to Orpheus's harmonies, their whispers blending with his strumming. His journey through the realm of shadows demonstrated the Hellenic belief in music's ability to transcend all barriers, even those between existence and non-existence. Orpheus's unwavering resolve and the strength of his artistry carried him ever closer to his goal of reuniting with his beloved. Finally, Orpheus stood before Hades and Persephone, rulers of the underworld. Here, in the depths of the earth, he played his most heartfelt ballad yet. The raw emotion in his performance moved even Persephone to tears, and the usually stoic Hades found himself swayed by the mortal's plea. After much deliberation, the divine couple agreed to an unprecedented act. They would allow Eurydice to return to the world above. However, they attached a crucial condition to their decree. Orpheus must guide Eurydice out of the nether realm, but he was forbidden from looking back at her until they had both crossed the threshold into the mortal plane. This decision set the stage for the ultimate test of Orpheus's love and faith. It was a challenge that would push him to his limits and ultimately determine the fate of both lovers. As Orpheus began the ascent back to the land of the living with Eurydice following behind, he faced an intense internal conflict. The path was long and silent, with no way for Orpheus to confirm that his soulmate was still there. Uncertainty began to creep into his mind, warring with his trust in the god's promise. This psychological struggle reflects a universal human dilemma, the battle between conviction and skepticism, between trust and the need for certainty. As they neared the exit, Orpheus's resolve began to waver. The silence behind him became unbearable, and just as they reached the boundary of the living world, he succumbed to his apprehension. 
In a moment of weakness, Orpheus turned to look at Eurydice. Their eyes met for a brief, joyous instant before she was pulled back into the depths of the underworld, this time for eternity. Orpheus's single glance had violated the conditions set by Hades, and the repercussions were swift and irreversible. This tragic moment serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of faith and the often devastating results of doubt. It also highlights the uncompromising nature of divine edicts in Greek mythology, where even the slightest transgression can lead to dire consequences. The tale of Orpheus and Eurydice has enthralled artists and audiences for millennia, inspiring countless reinterpretations across various media. Its motifs of devotion, bereavement, and the power of creativity continue to resonate with each new generation. In the realm of sound, Christoph Willibald Gluck's 1762 opera Orfeo ed Eurydice marked a turning point in the genre. Gluck's work emphasized emotional depth over vocal pyrotechnics, revolutionizing opera, and paving the way for future composers. Visual artists have also found rich inspiration in the myth. Nicolas Poussin's paintings capture the tragic moment of Eurydice's second passing, while Jean Cocteau's avant-garde film Orphée, 1950, reimagines the story in a contemporary setting, exploring themes of artistic inspiration and the nature of mortality. The enduring appeal of Orpheus and Eurydice lies in its exploration of fundamental human experiences, the transcendent power of love, the anguish of loss, and the eternal hope of overcoming death. As long as these themes continue to touch our hearts, this ancient Greek legend will remain a vital part of our cultural landscape, inspiring new interpretations and moving audiences around the world.